Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is DirecTV Now for Roku. DirecTV Now just dropped on the Roku today. So it's only available if you're watching this video, you know, when it launched. It's only available under streaming channels and new and notable. That's a little confusing because, you know, within a, within a couple of days, it's going to be all over the place. But right now, it's under New and Notable. If you're watching this a couple of days after the video's been out, you can probably also find it under Movies and TV. I say this because there's you're going to find Sling Television and PlayStation View. Those are, of course, main competition for AT&T DirecTV now, so it's a safe assumption. You can also search for it. You can search for anything with Roku. So, we're going to jump in and show you what the channel actually looks like. If you've seen the Apple TV version of DirecTV Now, you'll notice that it's very, very similar, if not exactly the same. You have two main menus. You've got an upper menu, where you can access a couple of the main features that you set up, your watch list. You can get to the guide and you can search for things. Or you can go into the lower menu and here you don't you've got a couple of other options. The home screen kind of operates almost like any traditional TV app like Netflix or Hulu or anything else. You see that it has a couple of categories set up feature, real lives, catch up. I hate reading everything. I don't read everybody the list because I think you can read yourself. But the home menu is not the extent of your categories. What it does is it sort of helps you get a feel for what you might want to watch. Otherwise, using this main menu here, you can launch into shows and there are various categories of shows to take a look at. You notice alternative animation, competition shows. So, you know, this is, you know, for the discerning taste. And as you scan down all the way to the bottom, you see that it even breaks things up into full genres. So, let's say you're just really interested in history. Let's <laughs> talking about history. Okay. So you see, this is obviously a lot of shows from the History Channel. You're not going to be able to watch anything from any channel that you don't subscribe to, obviously. And what we've got set up right now is the 60 channel deal for $35. Something interesting is that you can set up watch lists. You do that by going to Networks and Show All. And this shows you everything that you're already signed up for. You notice there was a little row of things that we weren't signed up for. It's kind of to say, hey, you know, you want this? Subscribe. But to do that, once you have a network set up, you select one. You select a show, and you add it to your watch list. Now, something odd that I noticed, though, is that not every single network works that way. Like, it looks like Headline News we will give that a break. That's a 24-hour news network. But ESPN, for instance, has shows. But when you go to ESPN, you have the option of the live channels, but clicking on it doesn't allow you to pull up the actual menu where you would add shows. So I think that that's a little strange to each his own, but I think they could have done us a favor there and uh, made it a little bit more universal. But most of the channels do allow you to add shows to a watch list. And we'll show you where the watch list is in just a second. Also on this main menu is a full guide 
that's important a lot of people like guides it's pretty standard so in this guide you can go through and you can see the same old you know kind of familiar thing that you would expect to see from a TV service we're talking to you Hulu but the guide is good you can go through you can see what time things come if you look up at the top left is changing by the hour see so prime justice with Ashley Lee on HLN comes on at 8 o'clock May 30th so that gives you an idea of what you're looking for and when and you can add things to favorites to simplify things because so, you know everybody's got maybe more channels than they watch but let's say you really like you know lifetime you go all the way to the left and you see you highlight this little heart blue and you can set things up as favorite channels Boop. MTV2 NBC Sports Network and so now we've added some things to favorites we actually had some things in favorites already but once you're in your guide you can go straight to favorite channels and you know, here's a, mostly a selection of sports and movie channels. And it's all set. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go through the entire lineup of things. Now, I kind of wish that you didn't have whatever was playing in the background there. I, I would rather see a more solid guide. You know, something like a blue screen in the background, something along those lines. But, like I said, that's how they want to do it. As I mentioned before, the unsubscribe channels, this is every single thing that we do not subscribe to. You click on it and it just says, this isn't included. That's sort of to kind of prompt you to go ahead and add a, maybe a bigger package. Search is very nice. Search is exactly what you would expect. You can look for things by title. I always like to do a Batman search, see what comes up. Uh, Batman searching. What are we gonna find? There are things that you can watch that are Batman related. See, there's Batman related TV shows. All right. So let's take a look at that top menu. This has the search, the guide and your watch list. So the search is the same search that we were looking at before. The guide is the same guide that we saw before. But the watch list now is what we were creating. So you saw us add America on Earth and American Gangster. Earlier I added these two from Gravity Central. And finally there's the settings. Woohoo! There's my account name. You can look at you can you know, change your preferences. And what I was what I'm going to say is that I think it's funny is Roku pushes the whole idea of channel. This is the the Netflix channel, the Directv Now channel. Well, Directv is still using the term app, and so I wonder if we're going to see them change that because these guys can be very sensitive about what you call your stuff. <laughs> All right, but that is Directv Now. The the navigation is pretty easy to use. It said you can either use the guide or you can actually kind of flip through channels by pressing left and right. See we're flipping through. It isn't up and down, it's left and right. But that's easy enough to use. And it does go in order according to the guide. For instance, right now says you know, Colin Cowherd and Jason Whitlock the middle if you go back up to the guide you'll see that the middle on there came on after Fox Sports Now or Fox Sports 1 so if we go back and we press to the right again should be the dawn of the planet of the apes oh well thank you FX apparently the dawn of the planet of the apes isn't actually playing right there Oh, there we go. So I was trying to say they're trying to make me into a liar here. But that is that. That is DirecTV Now. I'm going to go ahead and get out of it. Like I 
said, keep in mind, Roku users can get that one month free, and I will give you the link to their blog post about that. It's pretty easy. You just As you're putting your payment information in, you type in the code, or you can copy and paste it. But that's DirecTV now for the Roku. Enjoy. It's a, it's a pretty good cable substitute. I, I hesitate to call these things cord-cutting solutions anymore because they're really kind of like small cable packages. They're cheaper. They're, they're a little easier to deal with. You don't have to get a installation person to come out here and do anything for you. But take a look at it. If you've been looking to cut cable and try something less expensive, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.